Shemakim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodesh. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach you real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akim, that is truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about the earthquake that took place in Turkey. And it wasn't until I spoke to my Turkish colleague yesterday morning that I came to the understanding that an earthquake, you know, took place, you know, today because. When she picked up the phone, at first it was like, did you just, you know, did she just wake up or, you know, what's going on? Then she explained to me that back in the 1990s, if I'm correct, 1999 to be exact, there also was an earthquake that took place in Turkey. And during that earthquake, you know, family members of her perished, man. So what happened yesterday in Turkey, you know? Or, you know what, what what was on the news yesterday concerning Turkey and the earthquake you know that brought back certain emotions towards her by which she was basically grief man you know so I'm gonna read this article on, on, on the earthquake that took place in Turkey on endtimeheadlines.org Yara Tazam was going into how you know her family members you know did not die being innocent so a even though it was her uncle and his family, you know, including his children and things like that, they received judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? So, yeah, in their face, you'd be like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's a pity, you know, this, then, the third, man. But behind the scenes, you know, when they're not in our presence, you know, we know what's going on, man. You know, we know what's going on concerning, you know, the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. And I want to bring out this quick precept concerning that <clears throat> this is Psalms chapter 147 and starting at verse 19 you showed his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel so the law statute commandments you know and and you know, in this day and age, you know, the complete scriptures, the Bible, has been given unto the children of Israel, man. Those are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but also those who are scattered among the heathen nations, looking like the heathen nations, but whose lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to their father's seed line. You see, unto those people, the words of the Heavenly Father, you know, are given, man. Verse 20, he hath not dealt so with any nation, so the Most High did not deal, you know, in that same manner as he dealt with the children of Israel, man. And as for its judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, the Lord Yahweh. So, the Most High never dealt in like manner as He dealt with the children of Israel. So, all those other nations don't understand the way of Yahweh Shai and how His judgments, you know, take place upon the earth, man. But we do understand that, man. And a small example concerning that, for instance, is, is the Great Deluge, or you know, the Great Flood that took place upon this earth. A lot of, you know, quote-unquote civilizations or quote-unquote a lot of nations upon this earth have a, a, a flawed story, you know, that they you know, tell amongst, amongst their people. But coming to the understanding that all the, all, the, all the people upon the earth are descendants, you know, from the, from the three sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, or Japheth, you know, that gives you, you know, the, the understanding that by word of mouth, you know, the story that, you know, they experienced themselves, you know, was distributed among the people. But eventually, you know, when the Most High started to deal with the nation of Israel and those that came from that certain seed line, you know, all the way from Adam to Noah on down, the chosen seed line, you know, the children of Israel, they have received the understanding of what actually took place back then. But all these other nations make up a different story, man. You know, concerning how it's like these other gods or how it's, you know, multiple gods or how, you know, someone else did it. But they forget to mention the true power, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. <clears throat> so let me get to the article. And it's on endtimeheadlines.org. And it says, Turkey quakes most powerful in over a hundred years. Syrians fell to their knees in prayer, fearing it was Judgment Day. 
you know, that's most likely, you know, what's going to happen with a lot of people upon the earth once their life is in jeopardy, once their life is in danger, then they want to turn to, you know, they want to turn to, to, let me say it like this, man. A lot of people, they want to turn to idols, but only the true, you know, chosen people of the Heavenly Father, to Israel, the Most High, they should turn to Yahweh Shem Yahushai in time of distress, man. But all these other people that are upon the earth that the Most High is not dealing with, they're going to, you know, run to their idols, man, you know, to seek for help. Because a lot of people, when they're on their deathbed, that's the time that they want to, you know, think about the things that they've done and they want to, you know, turn their life to God. Because they'd be like, hey, I hope that I end in a, in a good place, basically, you know. That's the mindset that these people have. But yeah, I digress. This is, um, the article says, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria earlier Monday, killing hundreds of people as they slept leveling buildings and sending tremors that were felt as far away as the island of Cyprus and Egypt. According to Yahoo News, the quakes were one of the largest to strike Turkey in at least a century, wiped out entire sections of major cities in the region filled with millions of people who have fled the civil war in Syria and other conflicts. So a 7.8 magnitude earthquake is, a, is, is, a, is an earthquake that does quite you know, a lot of damage, man. So this was a this was this was a, a a strong earthquake. It says the head of Syria's national earthquake center, Rad Ahmad Ahmed Ahmed, told uh, pro-government radio that this was historically the biggest earthquake recorded in the history of the center. Uh, it says controlled parts of Syria as well as the northern areas. Um, held by pro-Turkish factions, according to the health ministry and the local hospital. Um, because a little bit is wiped out, so I don't know what this paragraph is really going into, but reading on, it says, at least 284 people died in Turkey. Vice President Fuad Akhtay said on Monday, adding that more than 2,300 people had been injured and that search and rescue work was continuing in several major cities. The rescue was being hampered by a winter blizzard that covered major roads in ice and snow. <clears throat> Television images show, showed shocked people in Turkey standing in the snow in their pajamas, watching rescuers dig through the debris of damaged homes. Citizens who have spent at least 11 years embroiled in a brutal civ civil war, responsible for the deaths of up to a thousand people, up to 10,000 people spoke of how they knelt and prayed fearing it was judgment day as buildings started to fall before dawn. We saw dozens of families in shock and fear. I haven't had that feeling all through, through the years of the war, said Anas Habash, a 37-year-old Aleppo native who escaped with his son and pregnant wife this morning. This was, this was much more difficult than shells and bullets. At least 16 Syrian cities reported damage and deaths from the earthquake. Angela Gurney, UNICEF representative in Syria. Many people, including children, are misplaced or displaced to Lakia and remain outside in streets and open areas. The government of Syria closed schools and universities for the day and some are being used as shelters. The psychological impact on some people we met is grave, man. You know, an earthquake like this you know, have been prophesied to happen, man. Uh, well, there's a little picture here of where it actually took place. I don't know if y'all can see it that good, you know, but, uh, you know, this, you know, basically the, the region of Turkey, man, also was a time back in the days, you know, where, um, you know, the, um, some of the churches were, man, you know, where the, uh, Disciples who became apostles also, you know, spread the word, man, in parts of Turkey as well. So, um, yeah, man, the first scripture that I want to grab is, uh, I said it is an, uh, is an oldie, but it's still, you know, a good one. This is Matthew chapter 24, and uh, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 
And this is Yahweh Shai explaining, you know, what are the signs of his second coming and what would happen before he would come back. And part of that is that we would see, you know, wars, rumors of wars upon the earth, man. Hearing about nations going to war with each other, you know, seeing other nations go with each other to war, you know, other countries and things like that. For seven, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Another thing that he said and explained towards us is that not only will there be wars, you know, and kingdoms fighting against kingdoms, but also there shall be famines upon the earth. You know, we're experiencing that on a low level right now, but with the inflation that is taking place, this shall be more prevalent, man. It's also speaking about pestilences, you know, um, you know, not too far away, you know, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a not too distant past, we were we were experiencing a pandemic, man. You know, and there are also all kind of other diseases that are upon the earth, you know, that are, uh, you know, taking place right now. But it also speaks about the earthquakes in diverse places, man. You know, Turkey, you know, is one of the regions where it took place, you know, considering this video. But, you know, there are earthquakes that take place in America. You know, if s very small earthquakes that take, take place in the northern part of, of Holland even. You know, these smaller ones in, uh, in, in Groningen, you know. And you know, if you go on this app or you go to this website, you know, there you can see all the earthquakes that take place in a day, man. And those are a lot, all in diverse places. Verse 8 of these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So these things are just the start of real troubles upon the earth because eventually the time of Jacob's trouble is going to hit and this earth is going to be in great distress man in great great um, great trouble this is second Esos chapter 9 starting at verse 3 therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uppers of the people in the world then shall thou well understand that the most I speak of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning and so once we see these things happening you know we come to the understanding that yes these things were prophesied to happen and the most High is making them come to pass you know, right now and in this day and age, man. And people might say, yeah, you know, but these things have been happening for so long. Yeah, that might be the case. But still, other prophecies need to come to pass before the end is, you know, for the, before the end is really coming, man. But the Most High is making it more evident and more clear to the people. You know, we need to be, you know, circumspect concerning this, man. You know, we need to, you know, continually go into the, uh, into the news because if, if we go to verse 1, it says, Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, Mercy thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, and by watching the news, we're able to understand what's going on upon different places, what what is going on in these different different places upon the earth, man. You know, and by doing so, we come to the understanding that the Most High is slowly but surely fulfilling all these prophecies, man, that were written in the scriptures. You see, that's very important, man. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. With storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, man. You know, so this is you know actually referring to these natural disasters that come upon this earth, man. You know, the earthquake, you know, great noise, storm and tempest, you know, that goes into these storms that are being created, you know, these whirlwind, these tornadoes, but also the devouring fire, man, which that can go into these wildfires that the most time makes makes um makes to come to pass in for instance Australia, man. And if I'm correct, also in parts of California, where it's, you know, very hot, dry. But that's the perfect climate that the Most High is creating for these wildfires to come to pass, man. You see, but the Most High said that these things shall be brought upon the earth, man. More and more. So, let me grab a little bit of the... Um, article again, because it also spoke about and basically, people that were caught up in the uh, in the in the earthquake. It says at least two hundred and eighty-four people died in Turkey. Vice President Fuat 
Boke Day said on Monday, adding that more than 2,300 people had been injured and that search and rescue work was continuing in several major cities. So, almost 300 people died and 2,300 people were injured, right? But these people, you know, were not innocent. Right? It's the same thing what happened with the, uh, with the family of the colleague, you know? Let me see. It says... Uh, Yeah, man. So there's also an article on that, which, you know, um, the victims of the 1999 quake remembered in three cities it hit, uh, it hit in Turkey, man. You know? Well, let me grab the scripture. This is Job, um, chapter 4. And verse 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, but where would a righteous cut off, man? So, reading the scriptures, we come to understand that if people, if something happens to people, if they overcome, something happens unto them. You know, we need to come to the understanding that they did something that the Most High knows of, for which they need to be punished, man, and put to death. Verse 8, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. And you might ask yourself, like, why does, does this happen unto a little child? The reason it happens unto a little child is because the Most High knows what he did in his previous life, man. Because reincarnation is actually a biblical thing. It's actually a biblical fact, man. So, you might... You know, look at the Gadites, for instance, or the Native Americans of North America. And you'd be like, they have done nothing towards these, um, towards the cavalry, or towards, you know, the people of Europe. And that might be the case. But, in the sight of the Heavenly Father, they transgressed those laws, such commandments, because they are the children of Yahweh Bashem Yashak. They was given laws, such commandments to uphold. And they broke them. Therefore, the Most High sent, you know, the curses upon them as well. That a swift nation, you know, who's basically the tongue who would not understand, would overcome them, right? And would bring them down. You know? So, the Most High knows what happened, man. That's the thing. So, the family members of my colleague that died in, the, in, 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 in that earthquake, they died because they was not innocent, man. They heck, they're Amalek, man. They're Amalek, man. The chief, the chief of the nations, man. You know, the head tribe, you know, of the of the nation of Esau, nation of Eden. You see, they ain't innocent anyway, man. You see. This is 2nd Esdras, chapter 16, and verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh, and are not slack. You know, meaning, you know, the, the destruction and judgment the Most High is going to bring forth upon the earth in different ways. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. You see, so, it's like a woman that is pregnant, right? You know, when she is going to receive, you know, the baby, she's already being forewarned with certain pains in her womb, man. 
and the pains that you can think about are certain prophecies that are coming to pass, you know, and by that, you're able to already be like, hey, you know, great, great distress is coming upon the earth. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side, man. You see, and that's the thing, man. And part of that is also these, earth, these earthquakes, you know, but also the famines, the wars, you know, the pestilences. You know, these things are going to, you know, come upon the earth, man, in great and in heavy numbers, man. Why? Because the Most High is visiting this earth which He made. So yeah, yeah, I just you know this video was edifying, and with that I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akiam, spreading truth and sincerity. Shalom.